Today's date is February 20th, uh, 2017. We're here with Mark, who had a lot of problems before coming to see us, and he's had some ozone treatments, and he wants to tell his story, or at least I've asked him to tell his story. Mark? Uh, this is my third treatment. On my second, uh, my severe headaches uh, disappeared, which for the last year, they were there every day. I never went a day without them. And uh, by the second treatment, those had completely disappeared. And you mentioned you had to hold yourself in the fetal position. Oh, on my worst days, my worst nights, I would I'd be in the fetal position. I'd be literally, I would groan. Moaning. If you talk to my wife, I'd be moaning. Mm -hmm. And He'd be moaning and groaning for hours, and I'd have to just soothe him. Mm -hmm. and I, uh, Kaiser was our uh, medical provider. And they would, uh, anything they gave me, nothing worked. Whether anything they gave me, nothing touched the headaches. So. And what else, how, what else has happened with you? Uh, right now I'm sleeping and my, uh, most of my pain, my night pain, um, has been gone for the last week since the second treatment. So. Very good. May I post yeah. this on YouTube? You may. Thank you very much. You're I very welcome. You. And this is Amelia Mark's wife. Do you have anything to say? You, you had some additions. I did. So the, the first and the second treatment Mark had, he came in and was in a very, he was not well at all. Um, I came and I saw him after the fourth pass on his second treatment and I asked him how he was feeling and he said pretty good, which was a huge improvement I knew the treatment was working. If he's saying he's pretty good, when he r was rolling in on his deathbed that morning and he's feeling pretty good, it's this, this is amazing. It's working. It's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Just for the viewer, your underlying dose th diagnosis is laboratory confirmed Western blot Lyme disease, correct? That is correct. Okay. With low, low CD57s. Classic. Yeah. And you've been to a lot of doctors, right? I have been. Have you had antibiotics? Uh, we did uh, 15 months of uh, uh, different cocktails of antibiotics at the beginning when I was first diagnosed. How's, how's your treatments here compared to what you've received so far uh, in the past? Um, oh, this is completely different. The antibiotics actually was a very long um, process before I, I, you know, they worked. Um, I, they got me out of the dark, but it was a very long process before I actually got to a point where I was functional again. And then it came rushing back once we discontinued the antibiotics. Thank you. You're welcome. Mark, I forgot to ask you about your energy. What's happened to that with these 10 passes? Uh, that has been returning. So I'm generally very energetic, can't sit still, always busy. Um, number of months now I've been just basically laying on the couch once I'm back from work. So. If you came to me with zero energy on a scale of 10 and 10 is the energy you want, what would you give me? Uh, I think I'm probably at a um, five or a six. With three treatments? Yeah. Today's your third. Today's my third. So with two treatments, you're up 50 to 60 percent. Yes. Wonderful. Um, something else I should have mentioned is uh, I get muscle spasms that drive me nuts and they just won't stop. Um, they won't leave me alone. And um, I, I didn't notice it until she brought it up, Pamela. Um, but I haven't been having them, so. That's terrific. Yeah. And the spasms, this is my opinion, mean that the spirochete has gotten into your muscles and your tissues, maybe into some nerves. And if they're getting cleared out, the spasms tend to go away. Okay. That's what we experience with our patients. Good, because yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome.